Hello and welcome to another Raspberry Pi tutorial by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft on your Raspberry Pi. Yes, Minecraft, I finally managed to get it working on my Pi. The version that we're going to install is called Minecraft Pi Edition and it's actually a port of the Minecraft Pocket Edition many of you will have played on smartphones and tablets. It's surprisingly very smooth and also very polished. What will you need? A Raspberry Pi that uses the Raspbian operating system and is also connected to the internet because we're going to be downloading a quite small file that's one and a half megabytes big and so again make sure that you have enough space on your SD card as I said not going to take up a lot but you won't be able to download it if you don't have any space. I understand that sometimes download links don't go to plan so if the one in the video doesn't work please comment below and tell me what's wrong, what part went wrong etc and I'll try to get my own one up within 24 hours. All the commands will be written up, so don't worry if you miss any, some of them are quite long. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and uh, let's get started. Turn on your Raspberry Pi and double click on the LX terminal icon, and this is the first line of text we're going to need to input. It's just a simple wget line, and after wget it's quite a long Dropbox URL. So as I said before, you're probably not going to be able to see this and don't worry because it's all going to be in the description below. So once you type that all in, press enter and wait for it to download, it should be relatively quick. And that's done. So the next thing that we need to do is you can get rid of the terminal box and open up the file manager which you'll be able to find in the bottom left corner of your screen. I won't be able to see it on my camera angle. And find where you've downloaded your file. So I can see mine's here Minecraft Pi 0.1 tar.gz and so this is zipped so we're going to need to extract it so right click and click on X archiver here. Wait for that to load and you should see something like this. Now once that's on there highlight that and then highlight it just by clicking and then right click and click extract and pick the destination where you want to extract it to. I'm just going to extract mine to the desktop. And then click all files, extract. So, once that's finished, then you're going to have a file wherever you saved it to called mcpy on your desktop or wherever, you, wherever you've extracted it to. So you can close all these boxes now. As you can see, here is my folder with all my extracted contents in. So double click on that, and you'll get this. Just check that everything's here, but after that, we're going to need to close this and open up the terminal again. So here's my terminal, and what we're going to need to do is change directory to wherever you've saved your MCPy folder. So Mine's in the desktop, so I've got change directory to desktop and then change directory to mcpy, which is what it's called, and then do an ls. You'll see that there's a executable file in there called Minecraft Pi, and that's how we're going to actually, actually launch the game. So go ahead and put in this command. That's just a dot slash Minecraft Pi and press enter. You'll then see a box appear. I'll just try to move it so you can see it. Like this, with Minecraft in it. And create a world and wait for it to build terrain. And Minecraft is now working on your Raspberry Pi. So at the moment, it's only in creative mode. And the controls, you'll be able to see those as well if you look at the README. Um, with the download, but you see all the biomes work, uh, mining, etc. It's not as comprehensive as full Minecraft, but what more do you want? It's Minecraft working on the Raspberry Pi, and as I said, it's very smooth. Hold down E to get to your inventory, and you've got lots of different items in there. Now, there is the ability to use different programming languages to interface with Minecraft, but I'm not as of yet sure how that works. So. I will update you if I learn any more. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. That's all for now. If you have any suggestions for any more videos that you want me to do or you just need any help 
with anything Raspberry Pi related, then do email me, email me at the Raspberry Pi at gmail.com. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe, as I say. You, you guys are what keep my videos coming. And that's all, folks. Bye.